Hi, this is Michelle, and this is a blueprint breakdown of a Fespa print. The first screen we printed is a black gel, and it's on a 160 mesh, and it's essentially a silhouette underneath the print, holding up the details on top. Then we printed a puff screen, and then we printed this white on a 180-48. Next is a clear tie coat on a 180-48, and a top coat clear on a 272. The puff screen was printed to add extra texture and dimension between the gel and the first white. And you can see as this print is shifted into the light, all of the extra textures and details that came out. The puff screen is essentially a highlight white with some added details around the eyes and in the hair. It's a 160 mesh and again printed between the gel and the first white. The CMYK was optimized for clean, bright colors. There was a little extra cyan left in the print in order to add some muddiness around the shadow areas. Magenta and yellow made up the majority of the skin tone, and black was used in the darkest areas. We tried two different optimizations, one that was less shadow and one with more shadow. We preferred the one with more shadow. In order to try different variations, you have to put each variation on a separate layer and you can output it through Photoshop scripts and export to layers. After you choose this script, you can choose what kind of file type you would like to output to. In this example, we're using PDF, but there are many file types to choose from. You create a folder in this case, we're calling it test to save all your output files into. Choose your file type and choose resolution that you would like to use. And then you run the script. Photoshop works through each layer step by step, creating a transparent background file in the type that you've chosen. When it's finished, it will show you that it's exported successfully and run the script. Inside the folder that you created, you will see all of the files with the transparent backgrounds that you can use to place into a template. In future videos, we'll show you how to use a template to output to the digital squeegee, or you can output these files directly. And that's how the FESPA print was done.